Uh, the Mississippi Bankers Association has uh, begun a program they call uh, a banker in every classroom and uh, educational obviously. Um, what I chose to do today was a class on credit because I think that's a good starting point if you're going to talk finances in any regard. So uh, uh, that's what we're doing is trying to provide business people to, uh, to liaison with the uh, educational community and hopefully get these kids started off right. Uh, we do, we, uh, we're here at Clinton High School. What, what are some maybe just personal finance issues that high schoolers are starting to face or might be starting to face? Well, obviously the first thing probably is a checking account and how to manage what little money they're earning either in part-time uh, jobs or um, some of them, you know, their parents may, may give them a little bit of money, but they, they need to learn how to manage money on the front end. So uh, they, uh, I usually get them set up with a checking account, possibly a debit card. And, uh, and they need to learn how to manage that. And then they probably move into some smaller loans, maybe a car loan first to uh, be able to get themselves back and forth at school and such. So, uh, and then as it goes on down the road and they get a little bit older, we're talking about houses and business and those type things. Above everything else that I wanted to impress on them is that you have to get started off uh, well with your credit. If you screw up the first thing you do, you're going to have a hard time borrowing for a long time to come. If you screw up the tenth thing you've done, then they're a little bit more leeway involved. Um, you know, I think um, I think they have to understand right out of the blocks where it may seem insignificant, even a small loan. Uh, it's the beginning of their credit history. It's the beginning of their credit report and the beginning of their credit score, which affects a lot of things in your life other than borrowing, maybe your job, um, uh, the ability to do a lot of things that uh, make your life much better. And some of our readers and people that are watching our website, uh, parents of high schoolers and college students, what kinds of things can they teach their kids about finance and personal finance and just kind of getting ready to Well, be... I, I think the, the first thing that, that any parent needs to teach their child anyway is personal responsibility. Uh, when they first begin to have a checking account, they need to be able to keep up with the balance in it. They need to know how much they've got and how much they've got to spend because it can be really expensive if you overdraw your checking account. That's a good starting point. Uh, my dad always impressed on me all of my life that uh, you pay your bills first because at some point you'll be in an emergency and need some credit, and if you're not able to borrow it all, you're in hot water. So uh, I think those uh, first personal responsibility, maybe second how to manage their money, and third how to manage credit I think would be a good way for parents to start. I've got others that are in my banking center that are also teaching classes and uh, these things go all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade. I just happen to end up with the older kids. So.